Be in Singapore performing at Laneway 2015. This is your microphone. Oh, cool. Do you want to go first? It feels awesome. We're excited. Yeah. First time in Asia ever. Same. So he speaks for everyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been touring a lot. You, you know, you've been to different cities and everything. What's the first thing to do when you're in a city? Like, what do you check out? The bed. <laughs> <laughs> is this like the best hotel room that you've gotten in your tour to date? It's, hot. it's up there. The shower is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. you know, maybe the best shower we've ever had on tour. You don't get to go out at all. Yeah, yeah. Like we also like first thing that I, I mean, I like to check out the pool. Okay. If we're close to a beach, like to, before before I unpack my bags, I just put my bathing suit on and I'm in the beach. These guys, these guys are still like checking out the beds and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of walk around and smoke cigarettes outside the hotel. You'll find like where I the survey the area. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's not like easy to find a smoking area in Singapore. How's that I, been for you? Well, the funny thing was yesterday before I went for a walk, uh, I walked around like, I don't know three four kilometers and. Uh, I, I typed in like on the internet, you know, where where can't I smoke? And, and I got these crazy lists. I was reading everything. I got really confused, and so then I typed in, where can I smoke? Yeah. And then what do you get? Like one spot? Well, yeah. I just I just walked around, and when I saw people smoking, I just hung out with them. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nice. I make friends. Okay. Okay. So we have some questions from the floor. Yes. Hey guys, I'm PJ from the Philippines. Welcome to Singapore and welcome to Lake May. So looking forward to your set. Um, I just wanted to ask about that Letterman performance. I mean, I've, saw, I've seen it on YouTube like a dozen times and I just wanted to ask um, Sam what was going through your mind during that performance and um, did you know that it was something special? Um, I don't think we realized uh, any of the ramifications of the performance at the time. I think, uh, you know, we definitely answered the question. Um, I think for us, we were all really excited about, um, it was our first time on late night television. Uh, it was something that we had hoped to do in uh, 2012 with our third album and uh, didn't have the opportunity in the end. We heard we were going to do it and we didn't get to do it. So then when it came back around and we were doing it, we were kind of like, oh, it probably won't happen again. And then we got we got the chance, we got there. And I don't think it was, it was until we were there that we became kind of nervous about it. Um, but just through, you know, it's it's kind of, uh, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. And uh, yeah, I don't know, we, we just did what we always do. Um, I, felt, I felt really confident with these guys, but at the time of the performance, my mind was just kind of blank. It was, uh, there's, a, there's actually a, a secret to that video if you watch it, it, at about 30 seconds you'll see me do this and I'm checking to make sure that my zipper is up because <laughs> that was the thing I was most worried about was did I zip, did I zip my zipper before I came out here? So those, it, was, it was kind of like don't fall, don't do something stupid and, um, and get through the song. But uh, I think about halfway through the song I could see because uh, we were just lit on stage, but everything was dark in the audience. Like you could see people's faces; it was very dark. But I saw the band, the Late Show band, over there, and I saw their heads nodding in silhouette. And that's that's when I felt like it was good, you know, like we were actually connecting. Because if you can make the band happy, then then you're doing good. But no, I, I you know, we were just doing what we what we always do. Um, and so it's it's been kind of crazy that that's had such a a large effect on on for us, you know, because we've been doing this for so long. Yes. Hi, uh, I just want to say that my favorite song is Dubs. Um, congrats on that song, and you sound like a young Curtis Mayfield. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, are you inspired by uh, the kind of Motown stacks um, sound? Um, yeah, I think I think all of us definitely um, uh, feel feel a lot of soul, um, or you know, dig, dig soul music. Um, yeah, I grew up with that through what my mom loved to listen to and like listening to oldies radio station um, growing up with my mom like singing Temptations, Marvin Gaye, The Supremes. Um, so it's definitely like a part of a part of my education as like a young a young person um, in music and something that I always loved. Like when I was a kid, I always wanted I wish that I was born in like the 40s so that I could have been a singer in the 50s and 60s as like a young man. Like that was like a dream I could never never come true <laughs> because that's that was something that even as a young a young person I really connected with um, 
you guys got you guys have the soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we love all that old old R and B pop stuff. Classic, classic um, stuff. Full Spectre. And like new shoes. And like new shoes, you know that eighties band. <laughs> Sam wanted me to throw that in there. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Hi, uh, Larry from the AU Review in Australia. Uh, I had the chance to see you guys at South by Southwest this year, oh, last year, and um, the, within two weeks of South by Southwest, I feel like you guys were just everywhere, and you, got, you won the Grohl Key Prize, and, and all these things just seemed to go on from there, and obviously the uh, singles was released. Um, looking back at that period, I mean, was that kind of like the period of change for you, and are you still kind of surprised by how because you talked about with the third record expecting certain things that didn't happen and you know this is your fourth record and it's and it's happened yeah like well that tour started off um with letterman we, we actually had we had to cancel the first show of that tour because letterman asked us we only knew we were going to do letterman like two or three weeks before that happened so we had to cancel the first day of that tour and then so we literally like did Letterman and then drove through the night to Virginia down south and then fr stayed at a friend's house and then went to Asheville, which is about a total like over 10 hours, like a 12 hour drive in, in a day to get there for the, for the show. And um, so like we did, we like we, we saw Letterman, we saw the we saw it on the, with the broadcast and then we were pretty much on the road and um, we could feel like people were like responding to the video. So but like we, we were on the road like that whole time going down to South by. So like it was kind of weird because we felt like by the time we got there, like people were talking about the video more uh, than we expected, I guess. So, uh, but all of last year was a total, total whirlwind for all of us. So I think we're still this year catching our breath, and and, uh, and here we are in Singapore, and this is just totally crazy to us, yeah, and exciting.